Okay. okay. So I'll start. Um, hi, everybody. My name is Omar Lopez, and I'll be going over my project of designing a network automation framework for a mid sized organization. So uh, my outline is I'll first go over the, what the project objective is. I'll go over my key milestones table. I'll talk about what the design looks like, uh, what the project requirements I, I set, and talk about uh, network automation, give a demonstration, and then lastly, a conclusion. OK. Uh, so the project objective, um, essentially right now in industries, it's important to design a proper network framework uh, by estimating future traffics of computing systems within an organization. A proper network framework needs optimal efficiency, security, and smooth daily operations. So the goal of this project uh, is to was to focus on designing a network automation framework for mid-sized organization, uh, usual, utilizing GNS3 and NetMiko tools, which I will go into uh, what they are. Um, Omar? Yes? So I do not see the, your screen. Yeah, that was happening with me. I had to reopen the WebEx for it to show up, but it's, so you can you can click again the sharing content. Oh, yeah. Cause I'm sorry. Can you guys see it now? Uh, I'm still sharing now. Yes. Okay. Yes. Sorry about that. Uh, so as I was saying, the goal is to design a network automation framework for the mid-sized organization, and since these tools provide programmatic control of the network framework with Python it's possible to design a stabilized network framework for the organization. So the tools that I used were GNS3, which is a network software emulator for setting up the network environment and doing the testing. Uh, VMware, which is a virtual machine software that allows computers to run multiple operating systems over a single physical host computer. So is where I ran all of the networking devices and they all interwork together um, using that. Uh, I used NetMiko, which is a multi-vendor Python library, which allows you to connect to the network devices. And lastly, I used Python uh, to, to do the scripts to programmatically manipulate the devices in the network. So the key milestones table that I set for myself is to define and understand the design tools that I needed to use. I understand and define how these tools are used uh, for automation and for the construction of the network. I needed to develop and then design the network and the diagram of the network. Um, configure the different components of the network and get it working together. And lastly, just testing and evaluations with final modifications. So my network design scenario is uh, their business office that will have to support up to 100 machines for the workplace. Uh, there's no wireless connection needed for this network. Um, and it's also not supported on the network software emulator that I used. And so the entire network is designed and tested inside uh, the network software emulator, GNS3. So this is my uh, network design diagram that I use. There's a, uh, on the bottom is where the PCs are, uh, right, there's only three here because for uh, space. 
and then there's three switches switch one switch two switch three there's a core switch there's a router that connects to the internet and then on the left is a network automation server that also is connected to the internet via a switch so the project requirements uh, for connecting the machines um, 100 wired and user connections are needed three switches um, of 48 ports uh, were used. Then these switches are interconnected between each other so that if one fails, the data continues to flow, providing strong connections. There's one core switch for added speed and reliability that connects to the bo bottom three switches. Um, there's one core router throughout traffic inside the network and outside the building to the internet. There's one automation server machine and an ethernet switch to provide internet access to the automation server machine. And as I said, uh, due to lack of space, only a few machines were shown in the diagram. So uh, continuing with project requirements, uh, the configurations in the network and connecting the networking devices, I needed to put a DNS server for translating the domain names into IP addresses, a dynamic host configuration protocol for assigning IP addresses to the different machines in different VLANs in the network, uh, a VLAN virtual local area network to reduce broadcast traffic and only send traffic to the relevant VLAN which can be segmented by department. Each department can have its own VLAN on the switches. And then uh, network address translation for turning private IP addresses to public IP addresses and for, internet, uh, for them to access the internet. So this is uh, an example of, um, of what it looks like inside the software. So this, uh, this window that you see is uh, the console of the router and i am doing some of those configurations i mentioned on the previous slide on the router um like uh, dns and dhep uh so some other requirements is to assign ip addresses to the machines so the ad ip address of the network is the one at the top and then each of the devices, I had to manually assign an IP address so that they're all in the same network. So it, as it relates to network automation, it's defined as uh, the automating of configuring, managing, testing, deploying, and operating of physical and virtual devices in the network. For supporting these, the network automation, I used a NetMiko tool, which is a SSH Python library that makes connecting to the network devices easy. I use, and NetMiko uses a secure socket shell to have a secure network, network communication to the devices. And I'll use the network automation server machine uh, which is what I use to write the Python scripts. So, so this, what you see on the left is the network automation server machine. And then the, the lower window is the console of that machine. The top window is the, the switch one. So the, the, the automation server has connected to the switch and they're both and i and you can manipulate the switch here so this is how the the connection works between the two machines uh, this is the automation server window i uh, where i wrote the the python script so this one is for a the vlan creating vlans on the three switches uh, so i create the script on a different um, code editor, and then I write him into the network automation server console window. Uh, so this is um, 
the window of the code so the switch the the servers will connect to to the three switches uh, using the password and using ssh then uh, it'll connect to the devices and create the vlans on each of those switches and this screen is the automation machine going to work so it's it's creating the VLANs on the different switches and you, you can see on the left and on the right the switch one where it's going to work so lastly this is uh, the switch one with the with the VLANs already on it so all three of them would have been configured with the with the VLANs using the script of straight from the automation server machine without you having to go into each one and do it repetitively. Okay, so in conclusion, it's important to design a proper network framework uh, that estimates the traffic of computing systems in an organization. It needs to be efficient, secure, and provide smooth operations. Uh, this project took an approach of designing a network framework for a mid-sized organization using uh, software emulators that I mentioned. And since these tools provide programmatic control of it, using Python, it was possible for me to design and manipulate the network framework. So that's it. Any questions? Questions, please. Hey, Omar, did you ping them and did you test the connection after you configure? I did. I had. I have to. I have to test that it works so that so that I can um, SSH connect connect to each of the devices. Yeah. Thank you. I have one question. So can you go to the previous slide, the diagram? So one before. Uh, oh, the next one. So. Oh, oh you mean the uh, this one? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yes. So here you place the network. <clears throat> automation server next to the switch number one, right? Mm -hmm. So then, so could you explain why you place the network automation server next to the switch number one? So instead of locating it inside of the, the local area network? Uh, yes, sure. So, so this switch here is there to give the the automation internet access because it needs internet access to update itself and whatnot but then this switch connects to the core switch of the network so so it there's no problem for the for this computer to to connect to these devices just through this switch here and also it's Yeah, that's yeah, what, what I'm trying to question is uh, you're placing the network automation server next to the switch number one, then the core switch also has uh, another connection to the core router that's connected to the internet, right? Yeah, it means you're not able to control every internal connection, like the internal, I mean, outside the network connection through, through the internet. I mean, network right because the network automation server located to the switch number one right so any any incoming traffic goes through the core router then it cannot be controlled right you mean traffic coming from the computers traffic coming from the network two na2 nat2 through the core router 
So on the right side, right? So you have two internet connections, right, coming in. Yes. So if you if your internet connection coming in through the NAT2, then you're not able to control because the network network automation server is not directly connected to the core router there on the right side. Well, it is because it's uh, the it's connected to the core router through the switch. Uh, not quite sure. Because if it, there is a connection coming in from the NAT2, then you do not have the full connection, full control of the internet, right? Yeah. Uh, maybe I'm not understanding your question. Okay, so we'll, we'll talk later. Okay. Then, uh, so what, if, uh, I think if there is access control list, you can control it, I think. You can block it from that to if you have any filter applied on the yeah yeah I didn't, I didn't go into uh uh setting up um for secure purposes i more so was focused on how the automation was was taking place but i know that you can put in a firewall and 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 focus more on the secure aspect of it So I uh, have one more question. So those one, as you can see, the layer, layer three switches, the one on the left is layer two switch. So they are layer three capabilities or just they are access switch, the one the, below the core switch? They're access switches slash, um, yeah. Oh, come on. Any other questions? I mean, I just have a comment. This is Travis Armbuster. I, I would say um, overall, when you're designing uh, a network, you should always include the basic firewall. And ASA is critical, important. And um, setting up those those rules and a slight, slight tweak of your design, I think, um, might have had a more real world uh, feel to it. Yeah, I know. Thank you. I just. I, uh, I was supposed to present next week, but I, I just ran out of time. I didn't, I couldn't implement all. I did want to do that actually. Yes, thank you for your feedback. All right, thank you.